What's up YouTube? This is Jet from Pen and Journal. Welcome back again. So thankful for your support. And today I have a very exciting pen to show to you guys and also to ask you for the help in identifying this mystery pilot pen, right? This is the pen that I got from the auction though. So just to showcase a little bit, right? The pen on top here is the Pilot Custom 742. And if you can make a quick guess, what is this pen, right? Okay, let me remove the 742 and let's get down to the details. I have done a bit of research and I can't seem to identify this mystery Pilot gold nib pen, right? So it is flat ended in phenials, right? We have the Pilot ball clip, gold trimmings, on the cap band, it says Pilot Custom with a bit of a scroll work, simple scroll work, and then we have Made in Japan. And this is not a screw cap, but a snap cap, right? Uncapping reveals what I believe to be a Pilot uh, number 10 nib with the old stamping, which I believe that is a older nib stamping uh, scroll on the Pilot nib. So you can compare it with the, on the right I have the Pilot Custom 742 with the number 10 nib. It is very identical. I'm not too sure if it's exactly the same, but it looks like to be a number 10 nib, right? Looks like to be a number 10 nib. And look at the plastic feet itself. Very similar as well, but you can see that the breather hole here is slightly different for the mystery pen. Right, anyway, let's put the 72 aside and going down to more details. Very interestingly, the grip section area has a ink window, right? This is the first time I've ever seen a pilot pen with an ink window. And unscrewing this reveals a built-in Con 70, if you can say this is Con 70, which I believe it is. Initially, I was thinking that, is this removable? Nope, it is fixed on, right? It is fixed as part of the entire pen body itself. And it is basically a con 70 that it is built into the entire uh, so-called the pen barrel, right? So this is one very interesting pen. Taking a closer look at the con 70, so to speak, if you can call that. Right, I thought this is a very interesting looking pen. And to be honest, the plastic material seems slightly cheaper to the feel compared to the Pilot Custom 742. But, well, I thought that this ink window here is just so cool. It is just so cool. And it is a snap cap. And I believe some people actually prefer a snap cap. For me, one thing I love about my Pilot Kakuno is that it is a snap cap so easy to take quick notes all you need to do is with one hand you can in fact maneuver and uncap and you can write at a get go so i think a snap cap is uh, preferred by some i won't say for all but i was thinking that this is just so cool right so this is the pen and if you have any idea about what what on earth this pen is, what model of this pen is, please, please uh, put your comments down below, all right? I would like to hear from you all. Uh, I really, really am clueless in the sense that, well, I've uh, exhausted the internet. Maybe I need to come up with different search terms, but to be honest, I didn't really, really like go deep dive into finding the identity of this pen. I did some time to get some research, but I come out empty with the identity identity of this pen. So I would really love that, you know, anyone with good knowledge on pilot pens can shed some light onto this mystery pen, right? I will ink this up and then maybe have a bit of a writing samples and we see how it goes. So anyway, thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't, right? Please give this video a thumbs up so that people can you know, the YouTube algorithm can push this video so that more people can perhaps identify this pen and please share this video. So, so grateful for your, 
for you guys for the support for my channel and thank you so much and i'll just leave some writing samples at the end of this video thank you once again everyone god bless and i'll see you all in the next one and hopefully right hopefully the next video that we can uh reveal what this mystery pen is thank you all god bless and goodbye Right, so we're gonna ink this up. This is part of black. Okay. All right, just gonna ink this up a little bit and see how it goes. You can see the ink over here. Excellent. So you can see the ink here sloshing in, which is very interesting. I love that little ink window. You can see the amount of ink. I thought that is just so cool, right? All right, let's check it out. This pen, see how it writes. So this pen is very interesting. I noticed that it is very soft. The nib itself is very pleasantly soft. It's very good balance and it got quite a bit of a flex there. Wow, I'm just quite impressed with this pen. You can see the little flex. I didn't really put too much pressure, but compared to a typical pilot gold nib, this pen is surprisingly very soft. And I think I have this notion of that you know, uh, typically gold nib, vintage gold nibs are a bit more softer than the modern counterparts. And wow, this is amazing. This pen, the nib feel itself is very, very pleasing. Can I say so? You can see just a little bit of pressure. I got some very nice line variation. I'm using uh, part of black and the ink just flows out easily. It's quite, I won't say very wet, I will say um, from a scale of one to 10, I will say the wetness is about a six or 6.5. Right, you can see here, very pleasant. There's a very nice, it's not like super buttery smooth, but a very nice hint of feedback. And look at that beautiful, um, wetness to the nib and I think wow this is this is a good find this is a very good find but the thing is that what pen is this all right so I believe um I believe that um this pen is a little bit on the older side uh it's amp but if you ask me it's more like uh SM soft medium and the beautiful thing is that you look at that the cross strokes are very thin the down strokes are very very uh i won't say very thick but you can see the difference here giving it a little bit of what we call uh, the architect nib correct me if i'm wrong i believe that is so when the cross strokes are thinner 
and down strokes are thicker that is architected architected rather sorry and please correct me if uh, you know if i've got it wrong right so very very interesting once again please forgive me for the poor lighting i really have very bad lighting especially when i do this at night and it is just very pleasant to write i love the feel of this pen to be honest very very pleasant feel uh, the, the pen itself is pretty wet you can see that wow it's pretty wet right and it's just smooth with a nice feedback and i'm just loving the architect nib if, if you may right and i don't have the best writing ever but i can really really see this pen the potential of this pen it is very very um very high yeah I'm quite surprised and just amazing that how Pilot has all these beautiful pens in the past that is no longer in production. They have the, the Muse, the Murex, you know, they have that they are vintage catalyst that is so, so um, timeless in my opinion. They have the Liga, the Ligans, the Stellas, uh, the Stargazers, all that good stuff and so sad that they didn't really continue that line and I just feeling that you know pilot is so underrated even though they are so like well known in the pen market some of the engineering some of their pens engineering is just simply out of the world yeah so anyway this is the writing samples All right is I know I just get just doing all the figure eights and what I've used the curls just like just let y'all see have you know the writing feel of this pen and it is really amazing it really surprises me how well this pen writes it's like if you ask me personally right having gone through so many pens myself i would rate the experience or the writing experience as a very good 9.5 out of 10. yeah it is that good it is surprisingly that good the nib is soft and bouncy wet juicy um, and the feedback, wow, the feedback is just something that is really out of the world. And the architect nib, love it, absolutely love it. This I can see is going to be one of my favorites. Not too sure if I would sell this pen, to be honest, because you guys know I'm doing a major decluttering of my pen collection. And this is one of the pens that I may want to keep. Or maybe I'll just, you know, just let it go. Anyway, I hope you guys can identify this pen. Thank you so much once again for your support. Please subscribe once again if you haven't. Um, share, like this video. Put your comments down below what you think about this pen. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you all. God bless.